right, here we go. The guys are here, they're working. They're putting in the post for us. I don't have to do it. Yay. But yeah, they started out this morning. Dug all these holes by hand. I'd still be working on the first hole if I was digging it by hand. You can hear them whacking away. Alrighty, here we are. You can see the fence is going along that way. And then if I spin around this way, back up towards the house. I think it did a pretty darn good job of uh, leveling this out for the guys. You know, we could have probably put the, this fence up ourselves. But it would have taken me a month or so probably to dig all these holes. And these guys, they dug those holes. Bam! Licky split. And just like that, they were done. It only took them like four or five hours to put all these posts. Oh, see, so yeah, we're missing a post here. We gotta buy one more. Dang, it's a pretty good hole for digging it by hand. And here you go. That's great. All right, guys. It's a beautiful day out today. It's in the 60s, a little overcast, a little drizzle rain coming down. We're going to work on the treehouse. I, I built the door last night, and I hung it up in the dark a little bit, and I realized <laughs> I hung it on backwards. Well, I mean, it would work, but the way yeah you'll see the way it has to be switched around just just for ease of use for the kids so i don't think you guys have even come out to the treehouse yet so let's go on out ta-da there she is See, I have the door swinging out towards the little uh, pulley system, but that really is going to block the pulley system. So I'm just going to flip it so it swings in inwards, and uh, that'll fix all that. All right. Here we are at the Thunderdome, pressure washing the bed of my brother's truck because when I did the concrete, powder got in here, and then it rained, and now it's kind of sticky. So I got to clean it off. Don't tell him. He won't ever know. Yeah, he will. And then we're going to put in the Gooseneck, so we can use the gooseneck trailer. Woo! There's Grandpa and the boy helping out. We got the uh, fire going, trying to burn up all the stuff we had to clear for the uh, fence line. And I'm having a snack. <laughs> so, sorry if you can hear me cheering, chewing. So, yep, there we go. There's the fence line, and there's what's left of the burn pile. And here they are. All right, guys. Look at that. The fence is complete now. Ah! It looks great. Now all we got to do is uh, clean up the mess a little bit, like all the extra supplies. Um, pick up all these logs that I cut up they were fallen dead wood and I'm gonna save them for firewood um, I thought about using posts for my uh, little garden instead of buying posts but they're not pressure treated so it probably wouldn't do very good um, there's all the sticks we burned ah. and let me flip the camera around this way look at that for uh whoop, go over my head straight fence Boink, boink. Well, not straight, but look at that. Look how straight the thing is. Woo! It goes boop, boop, kicks over. Because we didn't want to chop down, chop down these big trees right here. If we would have come straight from that corner to that corner up there, we'd have cut this tree down in. That's a, uh, that's a sweet gum. We could have cut it down. Well, whatever. We got a little bit more space here. And, uh, yep. Now we just got to pick up everything that could hurt the goats. Like these uh, flags, flag markers, and uh, get get on, get on. All right. So you think it's done? 
but it's not. You still got more work to do. All right, let me go get the truck. <laughs> She's like, look, stuff to eat. Sasha, you can. Okay, goat or dogs back. Stop, Winston. Oh, come on in. Winston? Winston, no. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Release the goats. Release the goats. <laughs> They're like, uh, what do we do? <laughs> well, we're going to eat the closest thing to us. Yay.